You're watching Insight, a North Shore Schools instructional technology episode. Long ago, to make a class set of a document, we used to print first an original, then we'd take that original copy down to the copier and duplicate it 35 times or so. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. Now you can print directly to the copier from your computer and you can tell it how many copies you want, you can tell it to collate, you can do all those processing things from your computer. And the nice thing about that is it's less steps and the quality of the prints is better because you're not making copies of copies. So let me show you how to set up to um, print directly to the Ricoh printer. Uh, so first of all, we need to load up the drivers, which are in KBox. So open up a web browser and go to KBox 1000. If you need instructions on how to use KBox, there's another Insight episode you can refer to called the User Portal. I'm going to use my district login and password to log in. And I'm going to scroll down to the printer drivers, Rico printer drivers 5000 and 6001. Click on that and click install now. And the Rico driver is now being installed on my computer. All I have to do is wait for the dialog box to pop up. There it is. Click OK. And there should be one more box that will pop up to tell me when the installation is complete. There it is. Okay, so that was easy. Now the drivers have been installed. Uh, I'm going to look up an article in the knowledge base, kb.nsd.org. And I'm going to look up the instructions for how to use the Rico printer. So I'll just type Rico in the search field. And here's a couple articles on how to use the Rico printers, how to add a Rico copier as a printer on my Macintosh. That's relevant. So here's all the steps for doing that, which we will go through right now. First off, we're going to pretend like we're going to print something. So say file, print. OK. And now I want to add a printer. So go to the printers box and say add a printer. Okay. Now here's where we need to have the IP address for the uh, Rico scanner that we have. If you look at the at the main screen you'll see at the very bottom the IP address. So the IP address for my printer is 10 dot 191.79.203 dot dot you need to look up your own don't copy this number down or you'll be sending all your print jobs to my printer and I'm gonna give this a location admin center and I'm just gonna call it Rico Okay. Now, you need to make sure that you select the MP5000PS, okay? not the CUPS printer driver. You can press Add. Now, here's a few things that you might want to consider. These are the options that you have on your um, Rico printer. So you might want to have a look at your Rico printer and see what kind of trays it has. I happen to know that my Rico has three trays and the large capacity tray is installed. I also know that the finisher is a SR790 and I got that by opening up the finisher portion of the printer and and looking at the um, the number there which is SR790. Okay so I select that and then I press continue and by by choosing these um, it just opens up more options for me. I can use the full features of that printer. If you're not sure why don't you just go ahead and select large capacity tray as installed and that's good enough. Okay continue. Alright almost there. 
one last thing we need to do if your printer is is requires a code what you want to do is go to the job log click on that put in your user ID or um, if you just have a, a user code all I have is a user code so I put that in here I'm just putting X's in because I don't want you to have my user code and then I'm gonna save that as uh, a preset for my Rico so that I don't have to do this every time and I'll just use it for this printer okay and now that won't show up anymore when I go to do my printers it'll just automatically be a part of my print jobs now I can press print and that job is sent directly to the Rico printer and printed automatically and ready for me to pick up there it is looks pretty nice for more insights please visit www.nst.org/insight